Hi, we're going to do a spring wrap, so let's get started. Before we start, we're not going to put no primer or nothing. So, we're going to do this nice thick one. I haven't used it in a while, so we're going to put it in the middle, up in here, and down here. And contour right in here. And then, I'm going to take that and blend it with a brush and I'm going to buff that into the skin and just buff, buff, buff it. You want to keep this part right here clear because we're going to do a lighter color to make it natural and keep working in there because this stuff is very like yeah it sucks but I thought I'm using it again because I haven't used it in forever and yeah it just looks very natural and pretty I think it looks pretty at least to go around the circle just keep on going around a circle. Just keep buffing it in. Okay. And then we're going to take my regular foundation I use. And we're going to take a few pops of that. Just a tiny bit. Because we only need a little, little bit. Take that with my finger. Just wipe it on. Like so. Go in with the. Yeah, you can hear my mom. She's making dinner. She, I told her to wait when I get done. So, because I am doing a spring look for you guys. So. As you can see, I got my nails done today. They're the ones I bought today. It's not bad, they are a little watery, but we'll deal with that, right? Right. Okay, now I'm going to use that and buff it in with the rest. Okay, now before we start, I'm going to prime the lid with the primer. Just a light coat of that. You don't want to put too much on this stuff because it's expensive. All over. Oh, I forgot to blend that in. You can tell my skin got dry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might have to wash my hands because I won't like that. It looks pretty, doesn't it? So far, we got that. Okay. Before we're going to put a nice white face we're gonna use my finger you do not have to put this on lightly because it it's natural to not put it on lightly so let's keep working that into the eyelids nice and lightly okay pretty pretty huh so the next one Does not have to be perfect? You could just keep working it into your eyelids. Like so. Alright. That's a white base. It's the LA tattoos. And this one's in too cool. Too cool for you. Oh my god, I remember that. If you don't know what that's from, you should remind yourself. Okay, the screeny colors we're going to use are green. Purple and blue. Just really colors. Okay, take a brush and we're gonna take the green one and we're gonna put that in the in the corner of the eyelids. This one doesn't have to be neat, it could just be up like this. It's very pretty. Oh, 
Oh, I love this color. Look how pretty it is. You can see the green in it. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Only room is my heater, if you can hear that. Because it's cold in here. So. You want to do this on the same side. Just lightly do this. Not overdo this color. Because it's so pink. Paint me. Blah, blah, blah. So bright color. Looks sexy, I know. Beautiful. It looks so pretty. We're not done yet. We're going to put another pretty color on. And then we're going to... Woo! I can't get this on, man. Like, my nails are like... Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to use this purple one. And it's pretty purple. The same brush. Wash the brush off. Just slightly put that on. Just do the same thing on this side. Just make it look pretty. Just look at like sexy. Okay, on this side. So you can hear people in the background. They're loud. As always. They're always loud. It's like so annoying. You know what else I'm annoyed? That people that I try to talk to, they don't ever talk back anymore. I don't know what's going on. They're ignoring me. It's not nice. I don't ignore them. Hmm, sad. Okay, and the last color I'm going to be using in this look is blue. Okay. I'm going to pack that color on. I want it to be vibrant colors to tell you you should go buy these like a pop of color. It looks so beautiful. It's like magical. And the other side, beautiful colors. And then I'm going to go up a little bit with it because it looks blah. Okay, there's that. Now for the rest of the look, we're gonna fix, we gotta do the eyelids, stuff like that. I forgot to um, ding me. Now I'm gonna take this black liner and underline the eye carefully, gently, because I don't really want to make a mess. You do not have to be perfect with this either. It could be on nice and pretty. Like so. I got like hair. So can me. No, I am not gonna put mascara on because that stuff it burns my eyeball lately. And then for the make it look so sexier. We're going to use this blue because it's so beautiful. I'm going to put it on my eyebrows. A pop of spring colors. Pop of spring colors. Pop of spring colors, baby. Oh. Sorry, I'm being a joint today, huh? But this is what pretty spring look. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Alright, make sure you get your sprouts. They're really loud. Ugh, so annoying. Every time I do a makeup tutorial. See what I mean? I can whistle. It so sucks. So sucks to live in my life. Ugh, can you please help me? Please. Okay, the last thing is my lipstick, and it's red. It doesn't really how you do this either. It goes on. Here's the darn sexy. Okay. 
Um, for last of it, we're gonna put some green for blush. Because it goes with the spring look, duh. Like, duh, 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 duh. Okay, and try not to get it in my hair, really. And my hair clip fell out. Alright. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and the spring look. And have a good day. April Fool's! Just kidding. Um, I don't never look like this for spring. Come on. Really? I look like a clown. Bye.